Dave Palumbo with an RX muscle news update. Guys, this is a big one. I can't believe it, but the Mr. Olympia Muscle and Fitness Flex and Muscle and Fitness Hearst have been sold by American media to Jake Wood. That's right, our good friend Jake Wood, who is the title sponsor of the Olympia in 2019. We knew big things were coming. He runs all the Wings of Strength shows. He is the sponsor of probably a good percentage of pro bodybuilding events that take place uh, around the globe now. And he is now the new and exclusive owner of uh, the Mr. Olympia competition and the Olympia weekend, of course, and all the uh, media that goes along with it. Uh, Dan Solomon uh, called me this morning and told me before the, the news was officially released. And he basically said it's exciting times. And I agree. I think the fact that AMI was handed over this or sold it over to Jake is going to really, really open up, I guess, the ability for the new age of social media to cover that Olympia. You know, the old guard was there for so long that they just kind of really were, were, were tying people's hands. Uh, it was like walking on eggshells when you went to these shows because you felt like you couldn't do anything. And, and, and it, it almost seemed like you know, they didn't understand the new age that we live in of how contests are covered and the lead up to the contest and the you know, follow up to the contest. And now with Jake Wood there and Dan Solomon in, in control, I think it's gonna, I think the sky's the limit really. And Dan uh, actually signed a five year extension contract so he'll be promoting that show um, the Mr. Olympia competition for the next five years, and he has also have added the title of president. So um, I have a feeling, you know, that Dan is going to be integrally related into this whole, I guess, um, I guess you could say media or social media integration that's going to be going on there. Because let's face it, Muscle and Fitness, you know, has a very, very big social media following. I think they said between Muscle and Fitness Flex and uh, Muscle and Fitness Hers there was something like 17 million followers. So they're gonna use that, those followers, as you know, an ability for sponsors to not only sponsor the Mr. Olympia competition, but to get exposure on their social media outlets, something that was never done before. Plus, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna see any more magazines printed, which is, thank, the God, thank God someone actually got smart and realized that they, no one reads magazines and it's a waste of money at this point. So. Everything will be digitally online, you know, and I think that's the way to go. It's going to save uh, Jake and his team or whoever he brings in to work over there a tremendous amount of money not printing a magazine. They can focus all their energy on the web, and that's really where it's at. And we've known that for years, I've been saying, saying that for the last five years. And thank God, finally, uh, someone got smart enough to say, hey, you know what? No one opens magazines anymore. It, it's terrible. I wish they did. I wish that that was important. It's just not. You know, the minute I wake up, I look at my phone and I get an update. So, everyone seems to be on board with this. Jim Mannion was quoted as saying that, you know, he stands by Jake Wood and, and he's, you know, very confident that the Mr. Olympia brand will, will really get pushed to the next level with uh, Jake behind the reins there and Dan obviously in the driver's seat as well. What that means in terms of prize money and, you know, production value for the Olympia, the sky's the limit. And I'm sure over the next, you know, so many months we'll get Dan on the TV show and, and he'll give us all his ideas and what they're going to be doing and changing. I have a feeling this first year probably we won't see that much change, but I think for the next year, the next cycle, that's when we're going to really see the most change occurring. It's, hey, it's a brave new world, man. Uh, I've been saying this for quite a while now. Uh, the landscape has changed. We were just kind of stuck. It was like, uh, it's like no one updated anything. Everything changed, but yet still people were doing things the old way, which I couldn't really figure out why. Now everything seems to have caught up in the bodybuilding industry. It's going to be an exciting year between the Olympia, The Rock has Athleticon coming up right after the Olympia. The bodybuilding world is really jumping to the next level, and I think that it's an exciting time to be involved. I'm glad that I am in, in the midst of reporting about all this because, you know, you don't hear about this much upheaval and change normally. Think about it. Joe Weider owned the Mr. Olympia for how many years before American Media bought it? You know, that was a long time. And they didn't really change that much when American Media took over. So this is going to be probably the biggest news for the Olympia competition than in the history of the entire, you know, competition itself. So where it goes, no one knows. I think we're in good hands, though, with Jake and, and Dan in the driver's seat. 
Uh, I'm super happy to hear the announcement. It's great news for the bodybuilding industry and congratulations to, to all who participated. AMI made off, I'm sure they, they sold the, the company and made a few bucks for themselves. Jake got a, an awesome, you know, it's funny, you know, you could collect baseball cards, you know, you can collect, you know, I connect, collect snakes, right? I breed snakes and um, everyone has their own little, you know, collections, people collect, collect stamps, coins. Jake Wood has collected bodybuilding shows. Now he's got the Mickey Mantle, you know, rookie card that everyone's been looking for for their whole lives. He's got the Mr. Olympia competition uh, in his portfolio. Congratulations, Jake. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.